Hello everybody and welcome back to this video series on how to rewind your brushless motors for a quadcopter. I'm Brad the Ripper and today I'm simply going to show you how you can check for shorts from the wire that you just wound around your stator to the stator itself. Uh, if you do have any shorts, your motor is going to twitch, it's going to not spin smoothly, it's going to even overheat. It's not going to have the power and the thrust that you would have with a a, a stator without any shorts. So simply all you have to do is just check for continuity. I have a five dollar multimeter here. You can pick one up at Harbor Freight, Walmart, anything like that. And all you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you have a connection to your stator and then you're going to touch one of these leads and see if you have continuity. And as you can see all these leads already have continuity because of the way that we've wound it. So what I'm going to do right now is pretty much just make sure that I have a connection. So I take and I just hold it down my finger. And you want to just see if you have a connection from your stator to your stator. Okay, so there we go. So we have a connection. I'm going to take this one. and I'm just going to touch one of the leads. And as you can see, this, this stator is, is bad. It has a short. So this one would fail if we reassembled the motor and tried to fly it with a quadcopter. It would overheat, like I said, and you'd you'd end up having to rewind this motor eventually anyway. So put that to the side. It's going to have to be redone. This one is uh, some new motors that I'm currently working on, and I have already tested it. Um, this one is a good one, but I'm going to go ahead for the sake of the video and show it again. So again, make sure that you have contact to your stator, and then just come over here and touch one of the leads. And that's what you want to see right there. You do not want to see it go to zero. You do not want the multimeter to show continuity. And this is just a simple way to test your, your newly wound stator for any shorts or for any problems. This is by no means the, you know, the end all of tests. Um, there's plenty of tests that you can do to make sure that your motor is good and functioning properly. Um, Joshua Bardwell just made a video a couple days ago, a few days ago, about how to check this. I'll, I'll put that in the link, or I'll put that, I'll put that link in the description for you. Um, anyway, I just want to thank you for joining me for this one. That is just how you can really fast, easily check to see if your stator even has a chance. Um, so thank you for joining me. I'm Brad the Ripper, and I hope you'll stay tuned for more videos on this series.